Hello and uh, welcome to yet another episode of Insaka. And uh, today we are looking at taking responsibility. And this is part two. So if you didn't watch part one, uh, please uh, just check uh, the episode for last week and uh, you will find it there. And uh, in particular, we are going to focus on blame shifting. Uh, to help us discuss this topic, I'm here with my brother, Billy Strone. Welcome, bro. Well, thank you very much. Good to be here. Good. Mm. Uh, so uh, l- l- let's get started with this scripture. And uh, it is found in Genesis 3, verse 12. And just look at how uh, the boy is being passed in this scripture. Uh, the man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is, this, what is this that you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me and I ate. Well, it's a very, very interesting passage that you uh, refer to. I didn't mm. think about it that much. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when we analyze uh, that passage, there are so many things that uh, come out of that verse. You know, uh, it's written in ancient times. Mm. Uh, Genesis is the first book in the Bible. Mm. Uh, And by chapter 3, Adam and Eve uh, have sinned and uh, therefore fallen uh, from God's favor. Uh, And God had given a command to Adam uh, that you're free to eat from any tree in the garden, Mm -hmm. but that one in the middle of the garden, Mm -hmm. don't eat. So, So he was basically given a two-part responsibility, if you it's like. True. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, first of all, your privilege, you mm. can eat, you know. Whatever you want. Then responsibility, mm. don't eat from this particular, particular tree. Tree. Uh, other responsibilities that he was given tend the garden. Yes. We looked at it, I think, earlier on. Is it yeah. last week or on? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, in chapter 2, yeah. God uh, tells Adam, uh, you know, he gives him his job just mm. description. Mm to work it and tend it, mm. the nature, I mm-hmm. mean, uh, the natural environment. Mm-hmm. But then he gives him a privilege, yes, uh-huh. you're free to eat. Uh-huh. Ah, that's uh-huh. nice, if he give you an open check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you're free to eat, but this you don't do. So God gave Adam the first command, long before we hear about mm-hmm. the Ten Commandments. Mm-hmm. And God says, you have, don't eat from this tree. Uh, and when God is talking, he is talking to Adam, uh, primarily. When you read the, the context carefully yeah, yeah. in Genesis 2, when he's yeah. giving him the command, uh, most probably Eve is not there, or she is created sometime around that time. Uh, and, and God says, Adam, you, I'm giving you the responsibility as a federal head, you know, mm. as the one who yeah, is leading yeah, this, yeah. Uh, this household. Don't eat. And then this happens, and God comes in the evening and he says, in the cool of the day, he says, Hey, Adam, where are you? And then he's hiding, of course. Uh, and God says, Why are you hiding? Mm. You know, have you eaten from the tree that I told you not to? And look at Adam. Adam says, Ah, but the woman whom you gave me, they gave me, whom you gave me. caused me to eat. I mean, it's, it's, it's something that blows your mind. A few chapters earlier on, he was singing as a poet about this woman. He says, boy, oh boy, this is born of my bones. Thank you, God. Yeah, thank, thank you, God. You. God. <laughs> and then suddenly he washes his hands, uh-huh. literally. Uh-huh. And he says, the woman that you gave me. And interestingly, the woman probably also... Uh, so, so, so before we get to the woman, eh? Yeah. Now, by saying that, uh, I think there's a sense in which Adam is blaming God as well. It's true. Because, and, yeah, and yeah. we tend to see this, this, this um, trend of thought, mm. uh, especially in this modern day era. Mm-hmm. You, know, um, uh, you, know, you know, kids would say, I'm angry with God. Mm-hmm. Uh, why the way my life has turned out? Uh, or 
uh, you know, this kid made this choice mm -hmm. and they are now reaping the consequences mm -hmm. and, and they are actually angry at God instead of owning the responsibility. I, I, you know, I just thought I should throw yeah, that in before we actually jump to the woman. That's an excellent one, my brother, because mm -hmm. I think we are living in a day where uh, kids and even adults have, have, have worked with people, people who are bitter. Why am I not being, uh, you know, promoted? Or if God is there, why did my father mm, die? Mm, why mm, did my spouse mm, die? So mm. it's very easy uh, to blame God. And, and that's what Adam is doing. It's like he's saying, look, the God, woman. You, you gave me this woman. He doesn't just say uh, the woman. He just says the woman who you gave me. You gave me. You sort gave of like I was fine. You know, alone, we didn't have these problems when I was alone. <laughs> I could have lived. Of course, it won't be very popular with the women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who would yeah. be doubted. But that's Adam. He's mm. not taking responsibility. Yeah. He is blaming God. That's mm. a good point that mm. you mm. mentioned. But let's move on to Eve as well. I think we'll come back yeah. forth yeah. to the same yeah. point that you've yeah. mentioned. Yeah. Eve, in a sense, either she's watching what Adam is doing. Yes. And since the guy has got a hot potato and he passes it on to her, she says, ah, oh, now you how it. And then Eve, instead of owning up as well, although she knows it's not her responsibility, she gives the blame, shifts the blame to the serpent. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe she tried, I uh, mean, uh, Adam, and Adam refused, and, you know. But the point that we see is that, number one, we can learn, Adam did not take responsibility. It, it, it's interesting that uh, in this particular passage, the only one who sort of took responsibility, like, is just mute, is the serpent. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he was muted, as you say. <laughs> or he was out of words, he was so confused. Ah, guys, put my, put my, and things like that. Yeah. Or the scripture just doesn't, but it's an interesting observation. Yeah, anyway, he, he yeah. Okay. down there, anyway. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and sometimes we can say, uh, sometimes we blame people and we take it to those people who are powerless, mm. who mm. are helpless and they mm. can't defend themselves mm. and we just lump mm. it upon them. Mm. Uh, we, could, we could say that. But uh, in this case, knowing Satan, he was a very sly and mm. slippery chap. But for some reason, he doesn't. He doesn't. But the point we're saying is that Adam, Adam was the one who received the command mm. from God. Mm. God says, I give you this tree. That's a privilege that you have. But to every privilege, there is a responsibility. Mm. And that's the responsibility God gives. Don't eat from that particular tree. Mm. Uh, but Adam, for some reason, doesn't take responsibility. It, now, um, it, it appears, though, that um, uh, Adam had actually taken responsibility or done his duty to communicate God's command to the woman. Because, you know, when the serpent came to the woman, the woman actually recites the command. I mean, she adds oh. to it. She adds to it. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, but it's very clear that Adam had communicated the command to the woman. Uh, the, the, you know, but then what's interesting is Adam did not follow up, uh, you know, did not follow up with a firm stand. I like, we can't I like that. do this. I like that one. It's like he, he knew that it's yes. one thing to know yeah. about something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he even communicates to Eve, who herself perhaps is unclear and mm. certain things. Mm. But the, the thing, the substance, the main substance, Eve knew. Yes. But yes. this man, <clears throat> Adam, who is the head whom God addressed does not take responsibility. Mm, so in that he sense, he doesn't take a, a firm stand. When Eve says, ah, honey, I think she was using such flowery language, or oh, sweet high, or oh, honey pie, whatever. Here is a fruit. Uh, the Bible says, uh, she, uh, who was with her or something. Mm. So he, he... He was there. Yes. He was there. He, was there with he wasn't her. forced. Yeah, he wasn't forced. And mm. he eats. Mm. But he knows the command from God. And what can we learn from there before we go further is that it's possible to know the correct thing. Mm. It's possible to know if I am not responsible, if I, I don't handle this, uh, this is wrong, this is right. But if you don't take a stand, mm -hmm. 
If you're not firm, just know. If the crowd is going in a certain direction, you go with it. And in the end, when you are called to account, you begin to say, ah, no, it was because of him mm, mm, or her mm. and so on. And there's a lesson there as well. There's a lesson. You know, if you, know, you fail in your responsibility, take ownership. Take ownership, for sure. Because where, wherever I worked uh, some, some time ago, uh, in a sense, I didn't realize that sometimes I would be in that habit of mm. shifting blame. Yeah. When something goes wrong, I say, no, no, but my team didn't. Mm. Then my boss would say, you are not taking responsibility. You are supposed to offer mm. leadership. Yeah. At first, I, I thought it was unfair. But then when I thought about it, they were right. Yeah, I mean, if, if right. yeah, and, and I think this is a huge problem. I mean, let's try, you know, to uh, put this in our context mm. and, you know, several things. Um, if, if, if you are in charge, mm. the buck stops with you, as I say. That's correct. And you take responsibility for whatever. If something... If something happens under your watch, mm. you take responsibility. It's true. I mean, the buck stops here. Mm. If uh, I am the person who is given the charge, that's why they put me there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. they knew yeah. I had the ability, I yeah. had the training, yeah. I had, you know, my mind was functioning correctly. And if something happens, there is no way a reasonable person would have to blame somebody else. Can you imagine in a home, but then, yeah. if, if, for example, a, a child maybe breaks uh, something or a child gets burnt, and then I'm there, the father, and say, no, tell him, but what, what, what? No, the question will be, what were you doing? But this is happening every day in the homes. It is. And here is what the fathers say in most cases. They will go to the mother you are not teaching your children. Mm -hmm. A typical Adam <laughs> <laughs> scenario, yes. Scenario, <laughs> okay. Uh, look at what's happening in the house. Look, mm. look at what your kids have done. Mm. You are not teaching your kids. And, 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 and that happens. It's a very interesting scenario, mm -hmm. Pick. When on the, uh, the, the converse uh, thing, if something happens that is good, mm. Let's say my daughter has passed number one. <laughs> Notice how the men say, My daughter. Have you seen my daughter? <laughs> or my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that happens a lot. Uh -huh. The man is blaming the woman. Mm. Look at your children. You're not training them. But the Bible says, Look, father and mother, that's why they are one. They must be jointly responsible yeah. to build this child. But I may go further that the father is the one who's supposed to lead uh, the direction. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, that's why the head, yeah. you know, when God is, yeah. is, is, is talking to Adam, he knows that Adam is the federal head in a sense. And so God is saying to him, look, Adam, uh, you are free to eat, but this one don't. But in addressing Adam, he's addressing the entire his family and mm, everybody mm, else. Mm. So that happens very, very often. And, and we may go even further that uh, apart from the domestic level, even children, for example, I know children uh, of parents, they leave home, they go to university, they go to college, and they're failing to make their own bed in their own house. First of all, they can't clean their house, they can't cook, they can't what. The reason is because they were not trained mm. at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the children, because they were not trained, they don't think they should take responsibility to do certain things. So that's where you see parents have to come, hey, I want to see how my child is living. Okay, it's one thing to show concern and interest to see, oh, how's my, my son living? Mm. But to come because you want to run somebody's home is a problem. But apart from that, we have that in our country. It, it cascades all the way to the office at the top. You know, the president, the ministers, the, the, even the gospel ministers, mm -hmm. I might add. Mm -hmm. They don't want to take responsibility. Uh, let me uh, read two more passages, uh, just for us to see how deep this problem is. Yes. Uh, Aaron in the Bible, Aaron, mm -hmm. 
This is Exodus 3.22. Yes. And Aaron said, let not the anger of my Lord burn hot. You know, he's even, you know, sort of humbly. <laughs> yeah. You know the people that they are set on evil. Could you know these people? For they said to me, make us gods who shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we don't know what has become of him. I mean, so, 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 so this is the guy who was left in charge. You know, this is Moses' deputy. He's left in charge. Can you, you know, take care of the people, administer, you know, and, and, and those sorts of things. They, they, they pressure him. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, 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 it's interesting that uh, a guy like that. I wonder how Moses put him. I know he's his brother, but yeah. a guy doesn't have the capacity. Maybe he had shown that he had the capacity to lead. But he had capacity. Exactly. I mean, wasn't he chosen? I mean, uh, Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah. He, Moses said, yeah, look, me, I can't speak. Yeah, this and guy is. Okay, your so brother he's an Aaron will be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So he's an eloquent guy. Yeah. But I think it's just this deep problem of failing to take responsibility. responsibility. And he says, you know these people. You know, these people, they're stiff-necked. Now, the way he is responding. <laughs> yeah, and that's yeah. a big problem. Let me yeah. just run one other uh, idea just in the New Testament yeah. this time. Yeah. Uh, you notice when Jesus is giving up, uh, the parable of the talents, you remember? Yeah. Yeah. He gives to one five, to other two, and the other one one. Uh, but notice when they are to account, the last person, what he says, the one with one. I knew you to be a hard taskmaster. So what did I do? I hid it in the ground. So in effect, what was he doing? He was shifting blame back to the master uh, uh, and, and, and trying to justify and rationalize mm. why he did not do what he was supposed to do. So this problem, <laughs> thankfully, um, we are able to pick it from scripture. Mm. It is there. And the Bible tells us also in the Proverbs that Diligent hands will rule. Not only rule, but you know, those that are diligent will never go hungry. Remember when you read in the scriptures yeah, yeah, in Proverbs, yeah, yeah. somebody who is passing, who doesn't work hard, they go hungry mm. and they mm. get surprised mm. for it. So that was a good point. Yes. Unfortunately, we need to end here. Because oh, come of time. on. Come <laughs> on, come on. And we've got so much that we. Uh, need. I'm telling you. But I wish, as we come to an end, I mm -hmm. wish, I wish we could take responsibility. In our nation right now, there's a lot, there are a lot of things that are happening. Some things will affect us now, some things will affect the next generation and into the future. Your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, and mine will inherit the Zambia that we are creating mm. today. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and if we continue shifting, not taking responsibility, let's not be surprised if our children come to, you know, not, not really curse us, but they, be, mm -hmm. they come to complain and speak bad things about us. We need to take responsibility. Domestic level, church level, national level, wherever God has placed us, we take responsibility three lessons number one take a stand very important that's what Aaron failed to do that's what Adam failed to do that's what another example we could add to that that's what a pilot failed to do mm -hmm. in the New Testament mm -hmm. and if you fail to take a stand take responsibility of your failure on it. Mm. I did this. I'm sorry. Repent of it. As we have noted in all these passages that we have read, blame shifting. It's interesting how the first person to be blamed is God. Aaron does the same thing. Adam does the same thing. Because actually, and, 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 it does seem to be a natural shift because the one who gives us responsibility to begin with is God. Who gave Adam the woman? God. Who gave Aaron this charge? God. Who has given you, you know, children? It is God. Are you saying God is wrong to bless you with this thing so that when things don't go right, you blame him? 
Let's take responsibility. See you next time. Absolutely. Thank you.